In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one good amen. Today, as you heard the Gospel, the first Sunday of the blessed months of Hatur. And what's amazing about our church, actually, the same Gospel will be repeated next week. Today, we read it from Luke. Next week, we're going to read from Matthew chapter 13. To emphasize something very important I'm going to speak about today. The Gospel actually today talk about a parable. One of our, the method of teaching our Lord God Jesus Christ used, used the parable so he can relate to the people what's going on around them. And he gave a very famous parable. He said the sower went to sow his seed and he took his seed and started spreading his seed around. Some fell among, among a good, a, the ground or the wayside. Another fell among rocks. Another fell on, also on thorns. And another one which will last fall on a good ground. And our Lord God Savior Christ actually gave an example to this. The sower is the Lord himself. And the seed is his word. So the sower, sower is God and the seed is his word. And actually his word, actually God trying to spread his word to everybody. So this parable actually, if you want to summarize it one thing, it's about how you and I can listen to God's message. He's taking his word, his seed, the seed, and trying to spread the seed around. Each one is different here, and each one will listen to God's message in a different way, and respond to God's message in a different way. And he give actually a fourth type of ground, or a different type of people. And in the end they said, you know what, he who has ear, let him hear. Which means actually, it's about how you listen to God's message. How you listen and respond to God's message. Even in life actually, growing up, very important aspect for young men, how you listen. Especially, I was talking to the, some of the youth last Friday, I said, look, it's how you listen, how you respond, how you listen. If you are a good listener, guess what? I guarantee that you will be a successful person throughout your life. And I will look at Sebastian Christ talk about four types of listeners. First, they start explaining this. We said this parable, the seed is the word of God. And he started actually giving the first, he said the first type, those who, those by the wayside, are the one who hear, then the devil comes and take the word away. I want to call this type here careless listener. Sometimes we listen, but we are careless. We don't care. How many times forgive me to listen to God's message? Some people right now, they just turn on God's message all day long. But it does, it's a careless listener. Perfect example of this is basically uh, uh, Judas himself. How many times the Lord God himself warned him? The Lord God talked to him. He saw so many miracles. And God spoke to him in many different ways. Even to the last point, the Lord God told him, what you do and do not do. Yet, he was a careless listener. And he did not listen to the Lord God. And he betrayed his master. So the first actually type, it's the careless listener. Our Lord, second type actually, but the one who fell among rocks are those who when they hear, receive the word with joy. And those who have, but have no roots. I want to call this type here actually has no foundation. You listen, but there's no depth. Not just only careless, but he has no depth. But the beautiful thing about this type here, I said, they, they listen to the message with joy. How many times right now when you're in a church, or listen, oh wow, I love this message. This is a great message. I love this message. And you get so excited about it. But guess what? It goes to nowhere. I'll give you a perfect example in the Bible about this. During the trial of St. Paul, he met a man, his name is Felix, during his trials. And Felix was a, a, one of the king actually responsible for the trial of St. Paul. And he could have actually sent him free. When St. Paul met with him, this is in Acts chapter 24, St. Paul started talking to him about condemnation, salvation, talking to him about our Lord God Jesus Christ. The Bible mentioned well, like, Felix Trab, yani, when he listened to the God's message, he was so excited, he was so happy. To the point that he called his wife, he said, come, listen to this great man here. A great talk, he's talking about salvation, he's talking about actually redemption, and he's talking about the Lord God himself. So Felix get excited with joy and happiness, as the Lord explained. But yet, because there's uh, no depths, he told, he told actually him, God said, go your way, when I have the time, I will call on you. And this is a struggle for the second type. They listen to God's message, but there's no foundation. And normally they put off God's message to somebody else, some other time. 
He told him, when I have the time, I will call on you and you can come. The second type, actually, the one who listened but has no roots, has no depth. The third type, actually, he said, but those who, one who, uh, uh, verse 14, he said, now those, the one who fell among thorns are those who, he, who whom they hear, they have heard, go out and it shocked with the careless richness and the pleasure of this life here. This type, actually, they listen to God's message. But sometimes, you know what? The pleasure of this life here is taking them away from God. He's not careless. He not, does not have a foundation. But he's, he's basically the pleasure of this life here. A lot of young men struggle with this, message, with this message. They listen to God's message. But the pleasure of this life here actually take them away from God. I'll give you a good example for this, actually. The rich young man. The rich young man, he was a great man. He came to the Lord God with a very beautiful heart, kneeling down before him and asked him the very perfect question that all of us would like to ask the Lord. How can I inherit the kingdom of God? The Lord God actually explained to him what you should do. He told him, do you know the commandments? He said, I know it very well. He said to him, one thing that you lack, go sell what you have and follow me. Guess what? He walked away because a, his love to the money or the pleasure of this life here was greater than his love to God. This is a type, basically, they love God. They are excited about God. They listen to the message. But the pleasure of this life here take them away from God. So, so far we have a careless listener, a listener that listen but without depth, without foundation. The third type actually listen, but guess what? Has no, the pleasure of this life here struggle. But the last type actually, which is a good type, but the ones that who fell on the good ground, verse 15, are those who having heard the word with a noble and a good heart, keep it, bear fruit with patience. The last type actually is a good type. They can listen to God's message and one thing they do. Number one, he mentioned actually three things. They listen to it with, the, uh, the, with a noble and good heart. They put their heart to God's message. They put their heart to God's message. Number two, actually they keep it inside their heart here. And the most important thing, actually, they bring forth fruits. Bring forth the fruits. But therefore, you know, but fruits with what was patient. Having a good relationship with God, by the way, requires so much patience. Because all of us were under a lot of temptation. And this type here, I'll give you a good example. The best perfect example for this type here, St. Anthony the Great. St. Anthony the Great walked into the church. And as soon as he walked into the church, he listened to the gospel was read by one of the deacons. Just listen to the deacon. And he listened to the same message that the Lord God gave it to the young rich man. So the young rich man, he listened to the message from God, Jesus himself. But actually, St. Anthony walked into the church, listened to the gospel while they read the gospel. And he said, if you want to be perfect, go sell what you have and give to the poor and follow me. At that time, St. Anthony, when he lost his fathers, and he decided, you know what, I will basically go and I will start this monastic life here. Saint Anthony, listen. What happened? Listen to the word of message with a good and noble heart. He listened to it and he kept it in his heart and bring forth good fruits with patience. So the message today, actually, how you listen to God's message. I was telling all the young men, especially on the Shabab Suhaya, Kuluku, I'm going to give you a secret word. If you want to be a good, successful in your life, and I will look at the kilmas, my hadr. If you learn today, hadr ya baba, Hadir, your mama, guess what? You will be very successful throughout your life here. For the good listener, actually, the one who listen and he keep the word in his heart and bring forth fruits. But that's why the Bible today says, he who has ear, let him uh, hear. It's how you listen to God's message. I hope today during the liturgy, you ask yourself, I have been listening to God's message all my life. I've been reading God's message. How am I going to respond to it? I hope you are not a careless listener. I hope not just only listen, but you don't have foundation. It falls among the rocks. I hope not just only you are not the type of listen to listen, but the pleasure of this life here takes away from God. But I want you to be a good listener. Even next week when you come to the liturgy, you're going to hear, hear the same message. And the, the, it will be added something. He said, the Lord God actually will give. He said, who, uh, he said if you bring forth a 30 or 60 or, nine, or 100, he will reward you. Which means actually God want to work with you. God is willing to work with you. If you bring forth 30, 
30% that means a failure. But in God's eyes, you're not a failure. You are trying hard to be close to God. You're struggling every day in your life to be close to God. Even 60, many of the college right now, 60 also a failure. But in, eyes, in God's eyes, actually, you are still struggling and good. He reward you. And Taban, if you bring 100, that should be great. Listening is a very important message, a concept in our relationship with God. How you listen to God's message. And a message for the young man, also young. How you listen to your parents, very important. How you listen to your parents and how when you go to school, you listen to principles and follow the rules. That's a very important. The person that who listens will actually, there's a verse in the Bible like, المستمع الحكيم أمين يعني إيه when you listen carefully كذا يعني إيه you will be happy throughout your life. Make sure that teach yourself how do you listen to God's message. How do you listen to God's message? Finally, he who has ear, let him hear. Actually, today we are gathered today. I see a lot of people to celebrate the four days memorial for beloved uh, Mervet. And honestly, I have to say she was a good listener to God's message. She loved God's message. And she responded to God's message. And later on, after the liturgy, we'll talk about really how she loved the Ishbiya. But the secret in your life is one thing only. How you listen. How you listen. He who has ear, let him hear. May God bless you and glory be to God forever and ever. Amen.